Should I do this then, Mike? Oh, baby. There we go. Nice. Well, <laughs> I'm looking at everybody. Now, now this is now this is good streaming content. <laughs> and then you can top, take the top off. You could do all sorts of stuff. It's, it, it, it's really a, it's kind of it, it frees your imagination. This one. <laughs> can you get into the now? If you were just to to go rogue a little bit, can you go into the far, into the space? A lot of teachers will start a new topic by finding out what kids know, okay, like making a T chart or H chart. Um, what do you know about the topic? W, what do you want to know? What questions do you have? And then L, what have you learned? So it's something that we would write on chart paper in classrooms, kind of a very common common like teaching 101 right there, folks. Right, exactly. KWS. Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Good morning. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Isaacs. Mr. Washburn, how are you? I'm well. I'm well. Welcome to the sandbox. Mm. I listened to, um, I caught the On Education uh, podcast this weekend. They sort of uh, reconnect with Noah Geisel. It was yeah. Really, really good. Very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we normally do a pretty uh, loose kind of kind of almost jokey uh episode with noah uh but you know um you hit, you hit the hard stuff this time yeah 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 it wasn't it didn't seem like the time and place to no be goofing around a little bit so you know and noah's good for a really deep you know hard conversation mm -hmm. uh really so good. it's uh it's always good to have him uh have him on the podcast so yeah it's good it's good 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 yeah. good good i even engaged in a little bit of a chat with him after on twitter because i was just um wanted to make sure i was uh clear on some of the terms and stuff you know when we talk about cancel culture and stuff that um i was a little just wanted to make sure i was uh you know kind of on the right page with that and then um and i you know the back to school stuff is of course very complicated very yeah, I don't know. I you know I I ninety eight point seven percent of the time I think I agree with you, but um I wasn't a hundred percent with you on the um sort of analogy almost that it was the same thing as you know going to the grocery store, but uh you know going back to school. You know what I mean? What I do know what you mean. I don't have a problem with you not agreeing with me. <laughs> That's uh I I mean. I get it. I it's um, but you know, yeah. No, just 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 in terms of pragmatics, in terms of like what 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 uh the school environment is, you know, in terms of the the challenges of social distancing and everything. But I do agree. Uh, I'm hoping, very much hoping, and it looks like we'll be back on a modified schedule, which I think is very appropriate. But um, yeah, I mean, the class, the the easy response to the whole you know, this not being the same as going back to school is that you're only in a grocery store for a little bit of time, um, you know, as opposed to being around kids all day, every day. That's why it's complicated. That's why it's yeah. not an easy yeah, answer yeah. and that every place is completely different. Team Unicorn, today's day one. She's got the laptop set up. Oh, She's going to do some streaming. Wait. That's exciting. Wait, oh, really? Oh, that's awesome. So yeah. when can we turn into that? I don't know. We'll to, we'll but she'll have to, have to let us way. know. She, tag us in a tweet or something. I'll yeah, I remember the talks of of choice of what she might want to stream. Did you land on a decision on that? Oh, Mike's Mike's mic is louder again. It says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Fixed no, that. I fixed that already. You're like okay. way too late. <laughs> a, a day late and a dollar short. Ah, uh, but um. Even though you are a little quiet for me, I'm gonna turn you up in the in Discord a little bit, and that should turn you up in the. Turn it up. Um, I you know while we're getting started, um, we're so we're, we're it's Minecraft Monday. It is. Um, we I think Mike's gonna maybe, I think we might have a little bit of a reveal here, a, a, a light like for your eyes only kind of uh, thing, right? Yeah, let's do it. Let's uh, let's uh, show. 
I'm just uh, here. I can switch to this. So, <clears throat> uh, by the end of this week, this should be a hundred percent ready. But I, I've shown this a little bit uh, a couple times. Um, I'm launching a Minecraft server. Um, I'm launching a Minecraft server. Oh, that looks so bad. Look at my camera. How did that happen? <laughs> I'm going to go back to this view. That's so funny. Okay, so I'm launching a Minecraft server. That's what I was saying. And and, um, and so what it's going to do is it's going to have multiple servers in it. So it's not just going to be... Um, it's not just going to be a, a server for um uh you know for streaming but it's going to be a server for educators uh you'll be able to get into it um as well and it's going to have not only a survival mode but a creative mode as well um so the and this is the lobby so when you spawn in you're going to spawn right here on this block right here it's really dark yeah i i mean i'm trying to talk and you know do that at the same time sorry but so, it does look super cool with the the moon shining through there was definitely worth seeing. yeah it's really nice now the sun is shining through there. so you're going to um so we're gonna turn this this spot over here into a portal so this is going to be a portal right here this whole archway and you're going to be able to walk into it and you'll walk into a survival server. And then um, I think I've decided to make this door over here. So I think this doorway there is going to be a creative server. So you're going to you're going to come I think you're going to come up over here. And up these stairs and then this will be a portal and you'll go in there to a creative server gonna put some stuff in the sky uh, logos and some stuff like that this whole server is sponsored by uh, a company called nodecraft they they do minecraft servers so they gave us this server for free which is wild um, I did not build this by hand um, so they gave us the server for free. Um, so it's sponsored, which is awesome. Um, you know, and it's worth a ton of money. I mean, the, the amount of power this server has is huge. Um, so the way it's going to work is all any educator that can show me that they're an educator is going to get whitelisted automatically. Uh, there's going to be like a Google form. And, um, and you're going to be able to uh, send a, a form um, to me. Uh, and we'll add you to the whitelist and you'll be able to to do that. Um, and then uh, if you're um, just like a subscriber on my Twitch channel, um, you'll have to um, be a subscriber first off. And then you'll have to um, subscribe for a certain amount of time or watch for a certain amount of time. So it's really funny the way that this is. So this is in the world. Um, so there's your... There's your island. This has all been cleared out. But what I want to do, and this is where we got to finish, is that you can actually still see on my view distance, you can see um, how far. So even um, Team Unicorn, if you want to stream, for example, you could stream from the Minecraft server if you wanted to and use that as your home base for Minecraft. Uh, if you wanted to stream from it, um, that would be awesome, in fact. Um, so anyways, um, yeah, right now you can see where the world has been carved out to make space for the island. So, um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm going to, we're going to, uh, game mode, creative, Mr. Washburn. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to fly up. So there's barrier blocks. All the way up for a, quite a bit. Now, this is going to be when you log in, you're not going to be able to do this. It's not a creative uh, space. But then you can come down and you can see. 
So what you can see is that we've carved out the whole island, which is kind of cool. Um, what we got to do still is we're going to clear out all of the layers below this this kind of like base layer. So we're going to clear out all of that, and we're going to push back this carve out a little bit more so that no one's draw distance can see it so that it really does look like there's an island. And then we got to clear out some of these water remnants and fix some things. But uh, what do you think, Steve? Looks pretty cool, eh? Mm-hmm. And then we filled the bottom with water, so it's going to be like it's a floating island. Awesome. So that's... So, and I, I believe we're going to definitely be playing here during our charity stream when whenever that is uh officially yeah that's right yeah yeah we'll play uh we'll we'll start building uh yeah no breaking the lobby the lobby is completely unbreakable except right. for by me i believe should we find <laughs> out yeah <Let's> see. <laughs> oh bro you ruined it i ruined ruined it's gotta rebuild it <laughs> So, so that's the server. It's pretty exciting. This this lobby looks awesome. Um, so we just got to kind of clear it out, clear out some more space. This is a little too much, and hmm. this is not enough. So we've got to kind of get cleared out to here, so that people can people can't see the rest of the world. Um, and you won't use this server. So there's actually three servers. There's a lobby server. There is a um, creative server and there is a survival server so um it's 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 a weird it's pretty complicated and and i got some help from a guy named um mark henkels uh 20 his his handle is 29th doctor and uh mr isaacs connected me to him i kind of knew him a little bit yeah. um but i needed that connection and he he ran the uh, the Minefair servers, the Minefair exactly. Minecraft servers, which are actually really well run. Yeah, yeah. No, he's uh, he's been. It's one of those things where it's amazing when I mean, you know, he's been terrific about uh, learning, you know, so much in order to make that happen, and he's done a great job with our Minefair server, which is still up and running. Um, and now I'm glad that he's going to be part of a Mike server because yep. uh, I know it will be awesome. Yeah, so he helped. Um, he's helped a ton, get a bunch of this stuff going. So, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. So yeah, Very see, cool. like this server is huge. It can hold two hundred people. So tons of space, tons of size, tons of size, uh, tons of tons of size, tons of size. I lots say what big, I want, Steve. Lot, lots of big pieces of land to all, build on. All of the things. So, but we um. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna hop back into our realm here. I I couldn't remember the last time we were here and what. Oh, I got disconnected. Uh oh, that's not cool. <clears throat> no no. Oh, there's Hello Kitty. The the I couldn't remember what had happened the last time we were here. Um, but now I remember ah. it was we built this. Uh, we built this. Uh. A vending machine for uh, with villagers. What do, you think, what do you think of this? What is he doing? Like, what is the librarian doing? There's a librarian. Yep. Um, where are you? Let's see. I'll TP to you. Quartz. And we also this yeah so they I don't even remember the vending machine. We, oh, it this was, is when we were practicing. He, we were, yeah, you you needed uh, to learn how to build a. Uh, that's right. A thing. A thing for a thing. It was a trading post. And we did it. All in one hour here on the stream, and look how beautiful. Um, but and then the um, and we. On this server, of course, a lot of you have been following along. We have our roller coaster Aww. here. We have a little bit of, a, I guess, some Aww. redstone playgroundy stuff. And then we have our escape room also that we designed essentially for VR. Um, and Payush from India is here. Good morning or good evening for you. 
they, Hello. they fix their shit 6 30 at night for some reason like they don't they're not or 6 45 i think it's huh? not on the hour if i'm correct but i could be wrong huh? um also a couple other things just while we're while we're we're getting started here um this week is a very exciting week for uh minecraft and the minecraft masters so oh, this yeah. on this past friday concluded the preliminary round for the masters where teams it turned out from all over the world we had teams from egypt israel india? south africa not india payush but payush payush will probably i bet you he'll participate in the at home challenges um where else mexico and the uk and america um all submitted and tomorrow afternoon we're going to be announcing a couple of things one is going to be the um the four teams that will advance to the live competition which we're very grateful of course to mike and participate um because we'll be streaming those together so those are going to be really interesting those will be a series of head-to-head -head challenges that will happen you know in real time that we will stream on the next couple of saturdays and some sundays um as we go through the four rounds of the actual um full-on masters competition um there are four different rounds you'll hear about them as we go on each round when we announce the round and have the competing teams participating on the stream that goes with that round so like in other words this coming saturday is round one we will announce to those teams that are participating as well as to the world what the challenge is for that week right so that week um the participants will have a challenge that they'll participate in live and then the rest of the world will have until that wednesday to submit their own um challenge via uh i believe a video in flipgrid and that will allow everybody to participate including um individuals under 13. originally the live competition was intended for 13 to 18. a lot of people wanted an option for younger kids so we um will be doing that so they will be included in the at home challenge so basically anybody interested can participate in the at home challenges which will be um you know it's kind of like we'll be yeah i think it'll be tremendous i think it'll be huge so that's uh coming up and mike and i will be spending even more time than we normally do together um doing a lot of those streams and sort of doing some color commentary and play by play and shout casting and watching kids build with some pretty great skills because we were looking for skills around like coding with code builder redstone commands and command blocks um and all that kind of stuff so so hopefully you'll see some pretty impressive building during this. so anyway that's, the kids that's hopefully you'll join us the what the kids, the kids got out oh the, the kids the kids can oh, speak the... through the one block size oh which this one right here yeah they can they can get out through the the space really but is... i thought that was the whole um that's why i made what if we put a is john spike watching <laughs> hope not um if we what if we put a what do you call it a um slab will that do the trick oh we it, it's fine now <laughs> but i mean no, like that would do it right they're all adults in there now oh oh so there literally were young young villagers that we were putting to work under the not following the the minecraft labor laws yeah but i killed them now oh okay <laughs> Rather than just letting them escape, <laughs> which would have been fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I took care of it. That's okay. bad. <laughs> um, you you removed them from the game. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I here. removed them from the world. Wow okay. is wow is right. I love that emote. Yeah. Uh, okay. so there we go. There is our there is our uh vending machine. Um, it, it does have, you know. As opposed to other vending machines that I have designed in the past, at least this one has like glass on the front. It has a glass door. It it, it they can't get out because these doors are all uh, iron doors. Mm -hmm. But man, this looks good. Yeah. Would they do villagers open wooden doors? 
Yeah, villagers can open wooden doors. Okay, got it. They're, that's but good. they can't open iron doors. No. Would they be able to push a button to open an iron door if we gave no, them a button? No, no, they can't okay. push a button. We need a Halloween world so kids can go trick or treat. I, I like Minecraft. Uh, I got inspiration from you both. I'm 14 years old. Awesome. Yes. Well, there you go. Don't kill villagers. <laughs> Payush, that's bad. Right. We're trying to, right. We're, Killing, we're trying... Don't do as I say, not as I do. I guess. Okay, so this guy's a librarian. I don't know how this one is a cleric, but doesn't have, like, the cleric things. And this one's a shepherd. I can't remember if I, like, librarian. Nope. Anyways. Anyways. Anyways, there is our vending machine. We could probably build a bunch of stuff around it. This is where the ender dragon destroyed the water. There's something down here. What's down here? There is like a whole other glass thing down here. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. It's the wall for this one. I was like, what is that? Anyways. I'm roller coastering over here. Are you? I am. Oh, but see, we fixed this, but then a cart got in my way. So, where are we at with the roller coaster? Let's. That's a good question. So, I'm looking at. So, we created. All right, let me show you this part again. So, this is like the. the, the right. You go up. Okay. So, I'm going to see if the opposite will work. Um, Through the logo. Okay, here we go. Yeah, and then you do. Oh, you're going. And then you go down. down. Now, this part works, right? It should, and I hope it works for you now because for me there were um, carts in the way, so it stopped me. You're talking about the jump, 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 and then go underground and still come up the other side? Oh, ho, ho. It, it's so good. <laughs> and then up. Oh, ho, ho. it needs one more piece there. Okay. The, but you didn't have any, um, I wasn't watching, but you didn't have any uh, <laughs> any uh, carts in your way, did you? Because no. my problem was I had some carts. No, in it way. needs, it needs, so this, this whole space could be powered, could it not? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. We were, we purposely were testing the other day how much powered rail we needed to make it get back up. So that was why I think it is like you could just totally replace some of those with powered rail if you want. What what, what item am I using? It's black. Is it black concrete? Um, where underneath there? Yeah. Let's see. Whoa. Yeah, I think it is. Ah. Oh. Ayush, we are thrilled that we can help you along your learning journey with Minecraft. Nothing makes us happier. There we go. There we so, go. Gonna, now that's a... That'll go up now. Oh, uh, but then you need... This looks so good. You, other, than them, you... other than them not being equally spaced apart, they look uh, good. Did you put... Um... <laughs> Did you put more powered rails underneath there? Or yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to Or on the way again. back up? Oh, yeah. Just the next one. Oh, I stopped. Why did I stop? Um, I might have been in your way, but I'm not sure. Or there might be... No, not really. I did add a powered rail that I did not um, power, so I... that might mess you up, too. I'm not sure. Like, because I saw that somewhere else. Let's see if that... Where did you? Where did it mess you up? Where I, that I just fixed. Rail? I fixed the spot. Let me. Uh, let me try it one more time. Was it the powered rail that I added? I'm not sure. I couldn't okay. see. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. I'm gonna watch it this way. Oh boy! Ah, uh oh, sorry. Did you get past me? Yeah. Yes. Hey! Hey! 
Alright. So now, I don't know what happened to Hello Kitty over here. Some of her bow and stuff got messed up. I'm gonna just fix that one. This looks pretty good. Yeah, and that opens up, yep. So what else do we want to do now then? And and we could take input from the people too. We have fireworks happening. We could add to that. Um, the interesting thing about the fireworks that we were noticing is like when we would use a, a um, detector rail, what's happening often is we were setting the fireworks off not where you could see them, so we have to change that. So that's another thing. We need to oh, oh, oh. I'll, I'll play around with that a little bit. Yeah, you need to do fireworks. That That's, like, your thing. Okay, so I'm going to do some fireworks. Um, so the whole thing works. I like, I'm, I, I'm right down at the entrance. So, so, but these rails need to work. Like, so none of this rail is working at the front. Right at the very entrance. I saw that. I saw that. That's, so let's fix that, too. I'm going to, I'm going to go on a ride. Look. Let's, let's, okay. let's, uh, let's, I'm going to make it full screen. Let's. Right, I think you should play sounds in certain places. We might be able to do that too. Okay, so we go up the hill. So I'm gonna try to make this sound. That's a great idea. So what we should do now? Oh, I like that. Through the logo. Drop them down. Now you got me excited about sound. Drop them down. Down. So we should do something. Down. Down the hole. Wow. That's a right. such a good idea. That drop is awesome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the jump, 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 and then jump, through jump, Hello jump. Kitty closes behind you. Yep, yep. So now, here's where I'm going to start doing some. Through the forest, ones. dodging, bobbing, to grandma, weaving. To, to grandmother's house we go. Add the sounds in dark, scary places. Yeah, down below. But in that tunnel, in the little dark tunnel, under the yeah. water. Anybody good? Hey, Eric. Anybody good with. Um, note blocks? I mean, I just have to figure out how you know the notes. Right. This is going to be the sort of um, under the water again. Up the side. Fireworks right here. And that's it. Cool. Fireworks where? The whole thing works. That was good. Why did Hello? I don't know why. It's it seems to me that someone can get into this world. <laughs> you mean why Hello Kitty is is a little broken? Yeah. So that's wool, isn't it? Um. Yeah. The question is, yeah, you know, you have to know exactly how that <clears throat> bow is supposed to go. You're good at that kind of thing. Let's see if I can fix Hello Kitty for Kathy. All right, I'm gonna try this to see if this works. If I can tell. Steve must have gotten mad. No, no, no. I know better. Here's what I gotta figure out, though. How do I know? Oh, I guess I can do this. I don't know how the bow works. The bow? Oh, I don't either. That's at what the I'm top of the so head. We'll bring her in for a special. Um... Did the fireworks blow it up? No. I don't think fireworks would do that now. Good question, though, but I do not think so. I think. Uh... Okay, not working. All right, so we're gonna do fireworks here under behind Hello Kitty. How about that? Like when when you go past all these fireworks, we walk her so that would be a nice thing to have happen right this makes me wonder let's see i thought we had increased the ticking Two pink blocks mid bow, then four <laughs> on the right. Two pink blocks mid bow. 
Oh, it's not pink. What color is that? What's this? Oh, there's magenta and there's pink. There? We didn't copy the blocks. Right? No. Okay, let's see if this works. If I make another TP on an NPC without the at P, I'm going to throw my PC out the window. If I make another what? I don't NPC know. NPC without the at P. Ah, uh, you do the at S and you send the NPC into the game by accident and then lose it, sort of. All right, I'm going to try this. Oh, why are these these? Colors? It needs more stuff. This This roller coaster needs more stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of working on. More stuff. Let's and I'm also like, so what we did here was we we made it come through the hole, but like I don't know if we need glass. Yeah, let's see if this works. All right, ready? There's gonna be a roller uh, part. See if, tell me, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Let's see if I can see. Did the fireworks go off or no? Didn't seem like it did it. Oh, there's still 64, so not quite. Why did that, oh, I know why. Yep. That should maybe work. Oh, and also, while we're at it, and Eric's here, um, he needs to download this file. Um, on Wednesday, now this is important, folks. We're going to go back to, uh-oh, what are you doing? Is that okay? Yeah. Um, on Wednesday, <laughs> <laughs> on Wednesday, we're going to go back to the Immersive Minds Minecraft Education Edition eSports um, worlds uh, and have some, uh, the, the thought is, and this was, um, contributed by Eric, so thank you, is we're going to use this, since we do this as our unique form of PD, we're going to bring educators into these esports experiences for fun, but also to let you experience what the students might um, as a way to better understand how to incorporate these, you know, worlds with your students. So we would like, and maybe, I don't know if, if as Mike would say, sliding into our DMs is the best idea for this. Whatever the case is, between now and Wednesday, if you would like to participate at 9 a.m. on our stream in some fun, somewhat wholesome esports competition in Minecraft Education Edition, we would like to set you up and invite you into that environment to play with us. So please um, make it known to us that you're available and interested, and we will bring you in. Amanda says she's down, so you got to slide into our DMs. We'll get you... The account information and everything we need to make it happen and that will be great that will be great all right now let's see if my fireworks working here now okay ready let's look above hello kitty in theory are there fireworks come on whatever am i doing wrong why are these not oh you know what i wonder if wait now in theory, oh, you know, maybe it's this. Let's try it now. That's how many. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I probably need a repeater also. Ah! <laughs> Alright. I'm going to make, uh, while you're doing fireworks, I'm going to make something else. Okay. Where am I going to make it? I'm going to make it right. What is this? What is this? Our, our vending machine. <sighs> Did you copy and paste the vending machine somewhere else in the world? <laughs> it's entirely possible. We probably were playing around with the clone command. It's, it's, it's precariously close to <laughs> a roller coaster. Why. I really if you had bro if you had broken our roller coaster, I don't recall doing that. 
be there. Someone needs to be in the audience. Yes, audience important too. No doubt about it. That's part of esports. Oh, there's a drown. Why am I having so much trouble? Let's see. Hmm. Maybe I do need a block here. Good. All right. So I need I need stone. Okay, that worked. So now I think I got it. I have water. I need glass. All right, let's keep trying this, folks. Once we get it, we'll make more fire. Because more is better. Stairs. Okay, you ready? All right, we got it going. Okay, now. Ah, the joy of problem solving. Call it. So now, when I go over this um, detector... It's starting this string of redstone, and I did need a repeater, I think, and then it's going to go to this dispenser, which has fireworks coming out of it, okay? So while we're at it, I mean, heck, I'll stop there. We are going to go under this. Under where? <laughs> you get it? You're hilarious. I know. That That is true. I mean, I can't deny it. Um, we have some more redstone right here. So, apparently the trick is as I hit this to then send a signal up to the, the dispenser. And, and I do like that idea of the music, too. That has to come next. Not that, I'll, yeah, we'll, we'll experiment with it. Now, will this work? I, I'm almost tempted to, like, once we build a, a whole bunch of stuff, turn this into a survival world and let people play in it. Um, sure. I think that would be fun. We just have to, we might have to somehow, um, can we make it, if it was Education Edition, we could put Deny Blocks. Like, we don't really want them to destroy the roller coaster. Well, that'll be our, that'll be our digital citizenship lesson. Yeah, will it ever. Science. All right, here we go. Now let's see if this will work. I like this. The... Okay. Now, in theory, we should have several bits of fireworks, and then we can just do whatever the heck to. Because you know, I might get me upset if I don't clean up after myself. Ah. Okay, that worked. All right. What am I doing? Fireworks. Yeah, cool. All right, that's good. What? So now, we at least have the infrastructure, uh, so to speak. We could set up because we have um, we have the vending machine for the for the people, uh, for the vendors, for the traders. We 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 basically would have all of the structure in place for a survival server. Mm. It'd be funny. Yeah, yeah. What did I? I broke a glass block, and I cannot identify which glass block I broke. I need to get. Uh oh. Wait, no, that'll work. Um, and then. And we could do so. Here's the idea now. At this point, I could continue to add these as long as they string off of the same redstone to make more fireworks behind Hello Kitty. They appear to go high enough that it kind of works out well. So that's all good. So that's in place. We can keep doing that. But now I'm inspired. Now, the only thing I'm wondering, which is funny, is let's see, note blocks. So this is where, and I bet yet yeah, Eric has some insight on this. But so, how do you customize which notes they play? Ooh. 
get food from dispensers, stay on roller coaster, and live forever. Um, I need to like fix the rasm frasm and PC. Good, good, good. So the rasm pasm doesn't teleport itself anywhere anymore. I'm guessing. So let's see how this will work, ish. So I'm gonna just play. Well, actually, all right, I'm gonna play with no blocks here. Oh come on, that's good. Um, so why not just play monster sound? No blocks. Oh well, monster sound meaning you mean meaning like the discs? Is there such an easy thing? Let's see. Music discs. But how did? Oh, cat blocks. Oh, now we're talking. The heck are these though? Alright. Let's see how the cat one sounds. That would be good for Eric. And then how do you. Ooh. How do you. Do you need a. Is it a jukebox or something like that? This is also kind of new territory for me, which is why this is great. Now, do you load? Do you, what do you do? Do you put the disc in there? Oh, yeah. Right now, my sound is not playing for y'all because I turn it off. But, um, so the records and the jukebox, that's all good. And that makes a lot of sense. But, note blocks, Eric, do you know? They make different sounds on top of different materials. I see. But to the point that you could figure out almost like what note, like if I knew which notes um, on the keyboard I wanted to play. Y'all. Did I say y'all? I like saying you did. You did say y'all. I noticed it. Uh, I'm not supposed to say y'all. Um, so we have a jukebox here. Now I would like to guess that... Why is that called, like, cat? Um, I'm going to make my sound a little louder for my own sake, anyway. That's rather nice. I wish you could hear it. Let me, I'm going to try to put my, if I change, if I go out of my screen and back in and play the sound, will that mess everything up, Mike? Or uh, no? It's hard to say. Should we try it? You know, I think. I mean, if we're playing the sound. Should the people hear the sound? Should the people hear the sound? Let's try it. Let's try it. So, but I'm guessing I would have to go out, quit my screen, and then go back in, right? I think that's yeah, probably let's try accurate. It. Let's see what happens. I'm out. You still hear me, luckily, for all of you. Um, open a new tab. Share screen. Anyone who's watched me die on my own stream. <laughs> recently knows what I'm building. Alright, let's see. There it is. There it is. Can you hear it? Oh yeah, but oh, I, yeah, but I can hear myself too. too. <laughs> Wait, so is that bad? Yeah. Yeah. So I should turn it off. Good Sounds though. good though. So keep it on or off? Off? Like is it? Too oh much? no! Oh it's no! Gotta it's gotta be off. Gotta be off. On? Off. 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 Okay, off it comes. They can hear. They can, they can hear me talk at the same time. <laughs> well, as they should, but. N no, like twice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> too bad. Better? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, the moment you turned it off. All right. So in theory, let's just make sure that these work. Oh, why isn't speed. this? Why isn't this bubbling? So <laughs> when you say right-click cycles through the octaves, does that mean that once I get it to the place I want it? I leave it there, and that's the sound that will always play, I'm guessing. No. 
Okay. So, but in other words, <laughs> all right. So you do a lot of testing, and then you're like, but once I get to the one I liked, I stop. Okay, that would make sense. Jeez, and different materials. Let's play around. Uh, it doesn't help to play around with it if um, if our. <laughs> So we've got, let's just see how this goes. I got a note block that I'll play here and here. All right. I see. But we don't know what note it is. Like, so it I see crazy things where they play a song that was actually, right actually recognizable. And that just seems like, I mean, there must be, I, I'd have to look at, like, is there somewhere on the wikis that will say, like, if you put it on a white wool? Let's try that, too. Let's try different colored wools and see if they all have different sounds. Mm. Chat, did a cow just fall from the sky? Did I see that, like, properly? I did not see it, but then again, mm. I don't say much. So weird. All right. So in theory, here are three different colored wolves. Let's see if they make different sounds. This is so much easier and creative. I just realized what I can do. So these... Okay, so wool must be just wool for that sake. Okay, now let's try concrete. And then there's a difference probably between concrete and concrete powder. Let's see if that would be true. Okay, now we go. Oh, that's very different. I wish you could all hear it. So Eric says, wool, glass, stone, wool, you mean try that in order? Wool, glass, it's going to be the theme from Rocky or something. Glass, stone. Um, I guess any stone. Uh. Note block, note block, note block. All right, so let's see. And wood, and wood. All right, let's see. Gonna fly now. Wood. Ugh, let's see, note block. Note block. All right, ready, folks? Not that you could hear it. <laughs> Exciting times. So, if you didn't know about what a bubble elevator is, this is like my current, uh, the bane of my existence currently. Existence currently, making one of these in like a survival game without dying. Um, it's not easy. Oh boy. Clouds are providing a challenge. So was the Eric, was the that sequence of stone glass or whatever it was, wool, stone, glass, wood supposed to be something recognizable or just all very different sounds? Because I did get very different sounds. Some percussion, some music. Using redstone repeaters between you could link them and change the rest up. Your tick speed matters. Tick speed matters. Um, Hold on a second. Okay. You keep playing. I'll be right there. Okay.
So then I'm guessing that if I create a redstone clock that's going to keep playing some of these, I'm guessing I would... What would happen? I would... It would still play the same octave, or I guess I'll have to figure that out and play around with that. But there's a lot of potential here. So we're going to do that. That's going to be one of the things we do shortly. Maybe I'll start it now to play at least the sound when we go under that ground, under the ground in that dark area. I believe it could be as simple as. So what level is this? This is 165. There's no detector rail. Now... Your tick speed matters. Four point one K participant points. Rising Sun might be the participant leader. Um, I hate to break it to you. I got eight K, baby. Do you really? Oh wow. I just noticed on mine I have seven point one K. Ooh. But I believe I am beating so I'm beating Mike Washburn at participant points. I guess I should make you hydrate or something and use some of them. Um, I don't know if we use them that way yet. Let's see. So now if I put a this. Oh, look at uh, Eric just posted a tweet uh, in the chat. So wait. So if I put a music box down, the jukebox, it doesn't require redstone to play, so it's just going to play. But if I put a note block down, I'm guessing that would require it to sort of. That's really disconcerting to me because maybe there's a way to put it. Okay, so that works. Like if I go over a. Back, go back. Oops. That's 65. So is there a way to make it that the... So I need to go 71 layers higher. Damn. So the, the 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 jukebox seems to play automatically when I have something like once I put the disc in it, it starts oh maybe not wait yeah it does it just starts playing. But let's see if the cart has any if the oops. Or does a jukebox play all the time once that song's in it? Because in other words, and is it is it distance sensitive? Like in other words, let me go out of here and see if you wait. I'm just getting started with this tower. This tower is gonna be awesome. This is so much easier to make in creative. Oh yeah, of course. Now the... Ah, uh, don't build that glass underwater. It's true, it is dangerous. Oh, so... Interestingly, oh wow, 
So the, the interesting thing is with the jukebox, it is sensitive to where you are in the world. So if I have it playing underground in that thing, it's okay, but it plays outside also, but then eventually... Control the start and stop of the I can't tell how loud that is. <laughs> Mine or no? When I'm when I'm, uh, I suspect it's really loud. Oh, because the funny thing is, do you hear my sound or are you too far away? Because the jukebox I play, if you were near it, you would hear it. <laughs> if you were near it, you would it hear it. It sounds super loud in my ears. Hopefully it's not that loud in the uh, chat. Beating water to death. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just going to turn the game volume down. Oh, look at that. Oh, I was right. Work I was right anymore. Uh, oh, wait. Maybe on the wrong side of Hello Kitty. Oh, ah! Get out of here. Oh, my God. There we go. All right. So soul sand makes you go up magma blocks make you go down you got to put one block at the bottom every level of the elevator has to have its own block of water any break in the in the water will ruin the bubbles so the bubbles go all the way to the top you can use this it for any distance as long as the water continues to, to rise. So now, you know, when I'm not flying, you can see when I go down here, this will automatically take me down. It pushes me down. And I don't lose breath. Like like in a survival in survival, I, I won't I won't be drowning right now. And then all you gotta do is when you get down to the bottom. If you stand here in survival, you'll start to take damage because of the magma block. So you do have to get out. You just jump. What do you or... call the blocks at the top and the bottom again? So you don't need anything at the top. You just need a ma one magma block at the bottom of the down and one soul sand block at the top. Does the magma block or at the bottom. Get the, the, the oxygen or the bubbles? Yeah, so you can see then it creates the bubbles and that allows you to breathe. So that one's the one going down, and the one on the left is the one going up? Yep. Soul sand block takes you up. Oh, wow. That's cool. Magma block takes you down. You put signs on the ins. Signs are really weird for this. Signs on the inside of, like, a, a piece of glass. Like, if I take out this sign, the water will spill out here. Wow. Oh, so it's just, like, it's just serving as so a block. So signs have a weird mechanic in that they actually they actually occupy the space yeah. of the block but still allow you in but, but yeah, still allow that, you to pass through it's kind of like it's thinner than a slab yeah so. yeah so so by putting signs now i can't you can't put signs on both sides but by putting signs yeah. you actually stop the water from spilling mm -hmm. out um, well, and, and they're blue, which is nice. That's the new, uh, Ooh, so this, really? this goes up super fast. Like, like if I get in here and then hold the space bar down, like it's, it's quick. Yeah. So that's awesome. And then, and just back to my question with the sounds and stuff. And I think Eric answered some of them, but I get the idea that with note blocks, I could have a string of them with redstone that would play a sound, but it seems like the the jukebox just plays and i'll play around with that a little more but uh but we're way out of time mike it's like 11 30 already i think 11 30 <laughs> hi kid we are out of um, time alas i could keep building this but i'm not going yeah. to yeah maybe next monday next monday
One yay. I like that. So um, I oh. should say I should say why I'm building this way up in the air. I'm gonna build a mob spawner. Um and and the dynamics with the way that mobs spawn is that mobs spawn in hundred and twenty eight chunk twenty eight block hundred and twenty eight block spaces. So if you want mobs to exclusively spawn in your mob spawner, you need to build it in a place where it's only going to spawn in your space. So by building it up in the air, I've removed the eligibility for mobs to spawn down on the ground and take up, you know, mob spawning possibilities. So I'm going to build platforms and chests and hoppers and a place for you to kill them and all of that stuff and it's all going to be up in the air. Wait, so in other words, meaning that they won't be running all around the ground, but if we want a they will only spawn any any mobs that spawn up here will only spawn up here. They won't they, they it won't it, it, in the RNG it won't spawn anywhere else except for in the space I'm going to create for them to spawn. Wow. And the purpose being for a a, a maximum efficiency of of uh, of mobs right but like in other words you're thinking of it like cows or something for meat or something like nope that. this is going to be oh. bad guys so this is going oh. to be creepers and and skeletons now, so will they come down <laughs> the elevator or anything or they will nope. stay up no, I'm gonna show you. We'll we'll come so, back next next week. Oh gosh, now I have to come back next week. Now right. you have to come back next week. I will then. Um, and really, please, folks, watch our tweets and stuff. A lot going on this week. Um, with the Minecraft Master stuff, and I'd love for you all to join us as much as you can, and and invite your friends, your students, your peers, your people who are not your friends. Invite <laughs> everybody <laughs> to participate in the at home challenges. I think it's gonna create an awesome opportunity for people to build and be creative all summer and yeah that's right food and do some cool stuff like that we got lots going on all right friends have a fabulous day yes and we Thanks. will uh see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m we will i think tomorrow is core game study day giddy up core game study day we need, Let's to, be, do we need to be beta testing games rising sun are you listening we've got to um Test your game finally tomorrow morning, okay? That's at least one of them that we'll do. Anybody else, uh, Becky, if you've got a game ready to test in any form, let's do that. That's the big part we want to talk about. All right, I'll let you go, bud. <laughs> nice. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.